Okay, uh, this is, well, hopefully sometime within the next year or two, maybe the last time I get to say, uh, your level book, whatever. Maybe? But anyway, I'll explain to you in a second, but, uh, this is your level book, whatever, uh, Prince DJ. End of the way, welcome to Big D Country. Okay, okay, it's been... Pretty crazy here in uh, Lamar, Texas, and uh, in the words of one video that I've been watching, what is up with this weather? It's cold, it's hot, it's hot, it's cold, it's hot, it's cold. Monday, the Monday before Thanksgiving, which is uh, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Uh, Monday is was close to 80 degrees. I felt warm, yada, yada, yada. I was in shorts. Matter of fact, I was in shorts the night before because the night before it was warm. It was like close to 35 or 76 or something like that on Sunday. Then Monday, boom, it was almost getting close to 80. My body almost went naked. I was like, what the heck? Because, you know, every time I get the AC uh, in the house, it gets to, it's like turn up to the, you know, like you're in, um... Antarctica, the North Pole, and I'd be shivering. Okay. Now we get to a point where we can feel the weather even from in, from the inside. It's ridiculous. I mean, it's like this morning was in the in, in the forties, the uh, the high forties. Today, high is only for be sixty two, sixty two, and the cloud doesn't even doesn't even mix up. Like especially if you get get uh, the press when I um. When it's cloudy, but anyway, before I get it, uh, before I get into everything else, because I gotta make it, be able to make this video to YouTube, but uh, so I don't say, oh, the file size too big. But anyway, um, uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna say this: the names have changed to protect the innocent. Again, the name has changed to protect the innocent, but I'll, I'll tell you why in a separate podcast. But um, I have a clean elect. And um, the name, the, the our alias name is Janet. Her alias name is Janet. That's uh, um, and uh, the uh, Queen Elect in Big D Country. And I will tell you more about uh, uh, alias Janet in uh, uh, the next few podcasts. But uh, I've been missing Janet, uh, uh, Queen Elect. Okay, from now on, after I said the name once on the podcast, I, I'm only going to refer. Uh, Janice as uh, Queen Elect. But anyway, I miss Queen Elect. I haven't seen her in a couple of days. I'm hoping the fact that it's uh, due to Thanksgiving break. And then uh, her car had broke down. And then um, and now we had like uh, another staff that's, uh, here. And yeah, I'll tell you that uh, during the uh, other part. But anyway, let's get down to business. It's going to be week 12. And uh, like I said, I've been cold. I've been having uh, tiredness issues. And don't worry, me and Sheriff will do uh, the Survivor Series podcast. Uh, whether we could do the predictions or whether we do the rundown, it's just it's just been a crazy mess. It's just totally been a crazy mess. And then I'm worried about Queen Elect and everything like that and yada, yada, yada. But otherwise, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Let's go to uh, week 12 and find out how... How and who the hell I'm going to pick for this week's game. And already we got a ride, ride or die for tomorrow. Whoa. Wait a minute. Okay. 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 Never mind. I got it because of Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Because I know Thanksgiving usually have a lot of college games and a few NFL uh, NFL games. Okay. I had to put my head together because usually Thursday night starts the action. All right. So, got a couple of rider dies already. And then the nighttime is uh, the lonely, uh, lonely, what? There's a Friday game too? the hell what the hell anyway let's get to the formality anyway um packers versus lions you're uh at the 11 30 a.m again what's with these early games 
I mean, with, with these early games, you know, people got family to to be with. Uh, and and it, well, probably they could send with the game, but still, at eleven thirty in the morning. And then people sometimes watch the Thanksgiving parade, like the Macy, like the famous one at the wall, the Macy's Thanksgiving Day parade. Ah, oh, I guess they don't want them to watch the parade. I guess they want them to watch football. I don't know, but anyway, um, that affair will bring the Green Bay Packers and the Lions, the Lucky Lions. Anyway, you know where I'm going with this one. I'm going with the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. Another, uh, this time it's the afternoon affair, 3.30, so I guess the Thanksgiving games are spread out. But how are they going to do with the college game? They're going to they're gonna have to compete with the NFL, I guess. But anyway, uh, the Cowboys versus the stupidest team in the NFL in any sport today, the Commanders. That is not a scary name, y'all. That is not a scary name. But you already know where I'm going with this one. Ride or die with the Cowboys. Come on now. Now, I could do a double now. Finally. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Thanksgiving uh, Thanksgiving night extravaganza. Uh, it'll bring you the uh, 49ers and the Seahawks. This is going to be a toss-up here. So, even though it's a double down, I'm going to say the 49ers is going to be the head. And the Seahawks is going to be the tail. Now they got one low Friday game. I don't know what the heck the, the, the people of the schedule thought about when they did a Friday game. So they got all day college and, college and NFL games. And then they're going to turn around, bring a Friday game into it. A Friday game into it. And it's at 2 p.m. The Dolphins is going to face the Jets. Well, this is definitely going to be a double down because... It, 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 <laughs> It's just ridiculous. It's just so ridiculous. Okay. So you got college and uh, and NFL both on Thanksgiving. And then you got a game on Friday. Plus you got a game on Sunday. And let's see if there's a Monday. Is there a Monday game? Yep, get the Monday game too. So, well, I guess if you're a football fan or the NFL fan, this weekend is for you. This weekend is definitely for you. Wow. Uh, okay. So, the Dolphins Jets. Double down. Uh, the way the Dolphins have been going, they've been steamrolling some teams, and I'm still shocked over the massacre that they did over at, uh, at Denver. So, I'm going to put the, the Dolphins at the head and Jets at the tail. And this is a double down. But... The first Sunday game at 12 o'clock, Buccaneers versus Colts. You know what time it is. It's ride or die time with the Colts. Another ride or die time. Uh, time. Now Now this is back to the normal 12 p.m. games on Sunday. Ugh. Patriots, Giants. Ride or die. New York Giants. Come on. Is it obvious? Okay, Steelers versus the Bengals. This is going to be a double down. Uh, Bengals is going to be the head. Steelers is going to be the tail. But whoever wins, big the country win. Especially after some of these rough calls and wrong calls and all like that and crazy plays and whatever. That's why the double down exists. Anyway, Panthers versus Titans. Oh, wow. This is going to be a hard toss-up, but uh, uh, I don't really want to. You know what? I'm going to go ride or die on this one because after what Panthers did to the Houston Texans one week, I am not going to. I, You know what? I'm going to go ride or die. I'm going with t uh, Titans uh, all the way. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Titans all the way. Uh, I, I, I'm still traumatized to that Panthers-Houston uh, Texans game. And speaking of the devil... Being another devil. Uh, Jaguars versus uh, Texans. So, you know who I'm going to put in the head, right? You know I'm going to put at the head, right? Here's the Texans because I live outside of Houston. <laughs> of course. I would be nuts not to put Houston, Texas at the tail. I got to put Houston, Texas at the head. The Jaguars is going to be the tail. 
Go figure. All right. Uh, a lot of these 12 o'clock games. Oh, boy, this is a... Boy, if you love football on the Thanksgiving weekend, this is this this weekend is for you. Uh Saints versus Falcons. Uh this is another toss up. I'm going Saints with the uh the head and Falcons with the tail. Uh three oh five game. This is finally the afternoon game. Finally. Uh oh. Cardinals over the Rams. No way. The, the Rams are traitors. Uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh. Never forget. Never forget. Rams have traded, uh, left St. Louis without the team. No. No, 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 no. That's why we have to all, all, all tier for, uh, tier for the, uh, the Chiefs. Yeah. Uh, and thankfully, I don't have to be, I don't have to be, uh, jealous of Taylor Swift because I do have a Queen Alette now. So, th- so, uh, uh, Taylor Swift, you're free to go. You're free to go. But anyway, yeah, I had to put that joke in there. But anyway, uh, Cardinals versus uh, Rams. I'm going with the Cardinals now all the way. All right. 3 5 game. Wow, oh, the battle of the bees again. Because it's Broncos versus Brown. And it's going to be a double down. I'm going to pick the... Ooh. You know what? I'm gonna do something uncontroversial. I'm gonna do something controversial here. I'm gonna pick the Browns at the head and the Broncos at the tail, only because remembering the Dolphins massacre on the Broncos that when they had seventy to a lower score that the Broncos had. So yeah, the Browns would be the head and the Broncos would be the tail. But anyway, uh. 325 game brings you Bill versus Eagles. Battle at the East Coast. I'm going to say, Your Honor, you're going to be really happy about this, Chief Justice. You're really going to be happy because I'm going to pick the Bills as the head and the Eagles as the tails in this massive double down East Coast affair. All right. Oh, boy. The battle of the official teams of Big D Country. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I was just talking about these. Uh, I was just talking about the cheese. And now they're playing my other Big D Country team, which is the Las Vegas Raiders. Because I said that because I love going to Las Vegas. Been there a couple of times. Uh, saw my favorite fantasy show a couple of times until I wasn't able to see it anymore because of the stupid inflation. Stupid inflation didn't want me to go home. Anyway. So I'm going to go with the double down. Ugh. I'm going to pick the Chiefs going to be the head and the Raiders is going to be the tails. So that's going to be really exciting. Oh, look, will you look at here? Look what they got at the 720 prime time game. The Ravens versus the Chargers. And it's going to be a ride or die game. It, I'm going with the, the Ravens. I'm going with the Baltimore Ravens. There you go. Ride or die. Monday to round out Thanksgiving football extravaganza weekend. You got to have games all day Thursday. They have a game on Friday, all day Sunday. Now, on top of that, the icing on the cake, you have Monday Night Football action. It's going to bring you the Bears versus the Vikings at 7.15 p.m. And it's going to be a double down. I'm going to pick... Hmm... All right, I'm going to pick the Bears as the head and the Vikings as the tail. So, that is your Week 12 NFL prediction on the BD Zone here in Lamarck, deep in the heart of Texas. This is the home of the best citizens. On the net today, this is the Big D Zone, deep in the heart of Texas, this 
World Week 12 NFL Pick Up Pick Up 